evil the mother of slashed to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissor men. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere. One after another, the horrifying murders continue. Who will make it through this game of murder alive? Clock Tower. Hello everyone, and welcome back with episode 2. First of all, I would like to point out how obviously Scissor Man this kid is. Just look at him. Fits the profile to a T with his blonde hair and his creepy pale skin and his schoolboy uniform. I would not be surprised at all if he turns out to be Scissor Man. But anyway, let's continue. I have to talk to both of them as a group? That's no fun. This sucks. Man, thank you very much for coming. How do you do? Okay, instructor at the Granite Orphanage. There's that place again. Edward. As in Edward. Scissor hands? He lost all his memory, conveniently enough, from the shock. Sure. Does he remember his name? No. So she just calls him Edward. And he's not saying I think you creepy mute child. Will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. I love this dialogue. Uh, yeah. Uh, well then, let's get started. Okay. I don't get to hear this? Data save. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was a creepy sound. Checking memory card. This could take a while. Data one. Okay. Took a while. Now loading. Look at that bloody text. It's like loading is the worst thing ever. Okay, I'm. What's going on now? What's happening? You said your hard drive crashed. Um. What's that sound? Anybody else hear this? Does anyone else hear this coming from this game? This is, like, eerie. Like, it's trying to freak me out, but, man, eh, I hope I can get it fixed sometime today. Ah, uh, that's never gonna happen. I won't get my dissertation done on time. Well, whoop de doo You're gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. When Danny gets back, Danny... Da oh, Danny. Right, the douche guy. But, yes, the douche guy. That's what I'm calling him now. I'm going to step out for a bit, because that's a smart decision in a clock tower game. Sure, see you later. That was basically just an interactive cutscene. Where is this? Hotel, library, university staff housing, research building, police street, the newspaper. I don't know. The hotel. Can I just seriously pick wherever I want to go? That's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, continue, please, please, please. They're here.
Oh, Helen, how's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? Of course you can. Just, just, yeah. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? You will hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. When did you become so polite, you little shit? I would not have this politeness from you, you creepy little abomination against humanity. Yes, I'm just assuming that kid scissor man. The library. Municipal library. Only three minutes in, and I've made more progress than the first 15 of the last one. Of course, the last one was only about 20, so... Who is this chubby fellow? Sullivan. Well, hello, Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan. Ooh. What are you doing here today? I say in an American accent, even though this is in Norway. Collection. Uh, okay, that was a bit suspicious. Uh, the police station. I, I thought it was police street. Why would they abbreviate station that way? It just doesn't seem right. Oh, that's not a creepy little look there at all. Something bad's gonna go down here sometime. Maybe not now, but eventually. I can tell, because I read TV tropes. Assistant Inspector Gotts. I actually recognize that name. The person in charge of the Clockwork Tower case is... here. Oh. That was a statement. Okay. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? Welcome to the 90s, people. Have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. Professor Barton. You're investigating Professor Barton. Or are you collaborating with him on the case? I don't know. What's going on in this game? In the first game, it was just, you're in a mansion, suddenly someone's chasing you. Well, you know, cutie, why would you? You're like the chief of police, and you're calling, Ugh. She's like 16, you pedo. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. Do I have to go to all of these places? Do I have to go to literally every single one before something happens? Oh. Ooh. Things are about to go down. Let's go to the university. The research building, I think, would be nice. Do do do. Do, 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 do. This is when bad things are going to happen. I can feel it. I can just feel it. In various parts of my body that I am not at liberty to discuss right now. I forgot you have to press the X button to go past. Danny, you look creepy. Miss Maxwell, I replaced your hard drive. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. Oh, this is not going to end well. What are you going to do? No need to lie. Oh my god, this is like schmuck bait the game. Scenario 1, Helen Map. Were those windows red light? Huh. Okay, that was horrifying. Who's this? Rose. 
Baker is still in the lab. Something bad is gonna happen here. I just feel it. There was something I was gonna say, but the chills that I'm getting from this place are just... Ugh. Bunk beds for napping. Well, you were coming here to take a nap. Are you going to use this one specifically? Okay, what's this? Old air conditioner. Comic book. Can I... Am I supposed to sleep in these? Medics. All right. Okay. Oh, double tapping runs, kind of like in the original. Nice to know. Also, interesting to note that I can suddenly run. Do I have to talk to Rose more? I don't like Rose. That sounds interesting. Can I can I use them now? I... Thank you. This game is such a pain. Like seriously, the number of just tedious, stupid things you have to do before you can actually make progress in the game is ridiculous. Alright, take a nap. Go ahead. I find the term quick cat nap to be kind of an oxymoron considering how long cats sleep. All the f***ing time, by the way. This doesn't bode well. This is not gonna end well, I can already tell. Okay. Oh good god! What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Where do I go? Is it gonna give me any instruction on what to do? Like, like, Helen, you crazy! Get out of there! Good lord! Could you be any more dense and slow? In, in here, just go in. Locked. Okay, that's bad. Go in here. Quickly! No, I hear him coming. J oh, balls! Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna just... We are so dead. Wait, in, in here. See if that works. Keep running, keep running, keep running. In here, in here. Okay. I get the feeling this won't work. He's gonna see the feed. Just, just stay in. Just stay in there. Don't move. Just don't move. 
okay? Just, just stay there. This is not, I'm not getting a game over here. Okay. I'm gonna end it on this because I have no idea what's gonna happen, and I don't really want to find out quite so soon. So I will see you in the next episode, and I hope you enjoy it as well as this one, actually. So uh, we're gonna finish here.